Hi, this video is to Ken Wadike, aka the Free Hugs Guy. Now, first of all, I love what you stand for, and I'm grateful that you were there at that at that place that you were at that day of the protest stuff happening. As I've been looking more into this stuff, um, and I also read your your post your status about how. Um, that uh, unfortunately a young man was shot in the head during the protests. I'm fairly convinced that if you hadn't been there, there would likely have been a lot more violence and a lot more death. So, thank you. With that said, I do have a disagreement with some some arguments that you've been, some arguments that you were making in here, and that's why I feel a bit uncomfortable uncomfortable about here. And for that reason, because I agree with the overall idea of what your project is, the Free Hugs Project, from what I can see of it, I see you as being kind of stuck between two worlds. So I, I want to understand better what your thoughts are and what's going on here, because as I keep looking at it and I keep looking and digging deeper and deeper into this, I see more and more complex interactions going on and I'm more along the lines of going, okay, I'm not sure what's going on here, let's have him tell me. Because I don't, I feel like I just, I don't know. I want to know more. The arguments that you were making in that video, I think, weren't the best, and here's why. So, one of the big ones that you made was that, <coughs> sorry, the police, uh, the police officer has a uniform on. That doesn't mean that he's not a human. He's not a robot. Just the same way that uh, that guy had black skin. That didn't mean that he was inherently violent. Now, you can take a uniform off. You can take that off. That's easy to do. It's just a costume. You can just take that right off. And what that costume means, represents, and is, is a job where they are enforcing the law. Now, you... Do you know what that means, right? I'm just going to pull up a quote by someone that I really enjoy real quick because I think it puts it rather aptly because I, I want to know what your response is to this and what your defenses are to, for it because that will help me understand whether or not I think that you are or are not being, whether you are being consistent or are not being consistent with the idea I see presenting, the idea of love. And here it is. It's by Robert Higgs. The good cop good cop, bad cop question can be disposed of decisively. We need only consider the following. First, every cop has agreed as part of his job to enforce laws. All of them. Many of the laws are manifestly unjust or even cruel and wicked. Therefore, <coughs> excuse me, every cop has agreed to act as an enforcer of laws that are manifestly unjust or even cruel and wicked. There are no good cops. Now, the cop status is not inherently reflective of them. Namely, they don't have to, that, that they are a cop doesn't mean that they are a cop, period. They can stop being a cop. There are ex cops, for example, who are part of a uh, league, law enforcement against prohibition, who advocate, for instance, for, uh, are, are in favor of marijuana. They want it to be, I think, is it legalized or decriminalized? I'm not sure which. Uh, decriminalized is better because legalized means that it's still taxed. And the issue with taxation is that taxation is theft. It, there is no consent that is needed. They, the money is taken regardless of consent. And that is why it is theft, because, you know, the consent needs to be there if it's going to be voluntary exchange and so forth. That isn't there. There's a lot of stuff that's said in defense of that that isn't voluntary. It's simply guilt-tripping people with stuff that just doesn't add up, such as a social contract and whatnot. And so that's <clears throat> that's why taxation is theft, and that's why taxation is an issue. So one thing that I'm really curious about asking you is, what if, because I saw in one part of the video where there's a woman sitting there and they were, the police were saying, uh, please leave or we'll arrest you, and I'm not really sure what the context is there, but that seemed pretty much along the lines of, um, she's just sitting there, and you're just, you don't like that, and so you're going to arrest her and kidnap her. That, that doesn't make sense to me. Now, <clears throat> I apologize for all the coughing. Let's say 
that someone had brought a joint and was smoking some weed at that thing, and the cops would then kidnap them, arrest them, and bring them into jail. Now that's a victimless crime. That's violence. That's coercion. That's and they might even use a gun or whatnot. There's a, there are often instances as well where there isn't even something that's happened. The cop doesn't like the way you used your tone, so they're going to arrest you. And so they then arrest you, and you resist them arresting you because they didn't like the way the way they they were because you didn't like because they didn't like the way you were looking at them. And so you resist arrest, and so they arrest you for resisting arrest. And then they cage you for looking at them wrong, for for using the wrong tone with them. That's what makes them tyrants. So, yes, they are human beings, and they have a job that makes them act in ways that are essentially unconscionable, that are wicked, that are evil, that are the inconsistent application of rules in society. They are exempt from the rules of society. Cops have often shot people in cold blood and just gotten paid vacations. So, yes, they are human beings, and I think that they should quit, don't you? You are about peace. You are about love. You're about hugging people and giving hugs and, and spreading peace. Why not look to the cops too and say, hey, why are you fulfilling this evil role? Do you understand what I'm saying here? And I'm also saying here that I, I don't really know what the context is. I'm seeing what I'm, I'm talking about what I'm seeing, and I want to understand better. I want to know more. Please help me understand your perspective better. I want to know what the context is because I feel like I I only am seeing the very glimpsing tops of top of it. I was in the first two videos. I was first talking about. I did a long ass video, 20 minutes. I was just going like, what the heck is this? And that. I made that five minute response video where I basically talked about the black skin thing as opposed to the the costumes. And then I did the Robert Higgs quote, and that was it. And then I looked deeper into it because I'm like. This doesn't. This isn't adding up to me because the the hug philosophy. I like it. It makes sense. I like that idea. Like, mm, let's do a hug. You know that. I like that. And then because you had that, you had a line of cops, and you were like holding your hands, and basically saying like, "Hey, it's okay. It's all fine. It's all good." And it, it looked sort of like to me like you were ushering in a police state. And I was like, um. Dude, do you? Because I was watching that, going, dude, do you realize how this looks? Do you realize how it looks like you're saying, hey, hey, just submit, just bow down, it's all good. Don't, don't, don't resist this, this asking for you to submit and not say, hey, this isn't okay. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say there. I mean, I, I understand your perspective of about, hey, let's not have violence, but do you realize you're defending people whose job it is to be violent and coercive? Do you understand that part? So. I'm, I put in the description here, I hope, enough context of all the videos I see that you have up there, uh, all my responses, and I think some videos that would help lay out my perspective so that you can see it from the people who I think speak it pretty well. Uh, I think Cole Mullany so far does it the best. There's also Larkin Rose, and he's a little more hard ass about it. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for being there. Thank you for having making this discussion come about. And uh, I, I finally found out that the guy who was shot for just shot by the cops, that's kind of what started the whole protest thing. I finally got that little piece of the puzzle, and I was like, okay, now it all clicks. So thank you for spraying this type of discussion on. Thank you for having the balls to go out there and, and basically face everything head on, more or less. Because I saw in the comments section, it was either on YouTube, I think it was on YouTube, about, you know, imagine if he had been white, they would have killed him. So it was a good thing that you were. It's more along the lines of. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> if you had been white, it would have been much worse because there was a lot of racism elements going on there, and because you were black, it, it kind of. I don't know how to. Like, this whole thing has racial tenseness all around it. Thank you for being where you were. Thank you for having the balls and help. I, I want to understand your perspective better. Please, uh, let's talk.